Hi there, welcome back to Muddy Mongoose channel, a beginner's guide to mountain biking. In this video, I'm going to strip down, clean off all the filth, and then get lubed up. Not me, my drop receipt post. <laughs> Well, it's another maintenance video today. Today what I'm going to be doing is fixing my dropper post. Basically what's happened is the where the cable goes into my the lever to operate the dropper post, it's broken. So it's not working properly. It's been a bit dodgy for a while and I've sort of kind of patched it together a bit, but now it's really not working properly at all. So what I'm going to do is take the lever off and I'm going to take this opportunity to take the seat post out strip it all down, give a good clean, re-lube it all, put it all back together again, a complete service. So let's see how we get on. So this is the manual to the um, giant contact switch seat post that I've got. Um, it's basically just an installation manual so it's kind of useless uh, when it comes to actually servicing it but we'll see how we get on. So as you can see the levers held together with some insulating tape but it's given up the ghost now. When I press the lever, the seat post doesn't come up anymore, so time to replace it. So I've got a brand new lever and cable. So first thing we're going to do is undo the bolt loosen off. Next unscrew this collar and lift it up, then twist the seat post and pull the seat post out. While I'm pulling that out, just want to feed this down with some slack. Before unhooking the cable from the seat post, I thought I'd give the seat post a clean down because it's covered in grease and grime. To unhook the cable, you simply have to pull the cable through a small gap at the bottom, twist it round, and then hook it from the gap at the side. So what's happened is this metal bit here should come right through to there. It's snapped. It's not allowing it to work properly. Next I remove the dropper post lever from the bars. And unscrew the tensioning bolt from the side releasing the cable. And then remove the barrel adjuster sleeve. You can see this is the, the bit that was broken and has caused all the problems. This is supposed to be a solid piece of metal which connects into this part of the lever here. But obviously it's snapped off and then you just can get enough tension so it wasn't operating the post properly. Just snipping off the frayed ends of the cable that were at the lever. Then I'm going to pull the cable out of the housing from the seat post end. Just give the bars a quick clean. And the inside of the seat tube. Just applying some lubricant to the cable, just to allow it to feed into the housing more easily. Feed it back through to the other end. And out it comes at the steerer tube end. So next I'm using an adjustable spanner to unscrew the air cartridge from the bottom. 
ません。Next, take out the two securing bolts that hold the air cartridge in at the top of the seat post and then it should just slide out. I'm cleaning as I go through the disassembly process, getting rid of all the old grease and all the grime and dirt that's been caught up in amongst it all. It took a little bit of force to separate the bottom half from the top half of the seat post but I got there and that allowed me to get in and give everything a really good clean. I used some brake disc cleaner just to degrease the inside of the tube. and a wooden stick to push a rag through. <laughs> it did the trick. Once it was all cleaned and re-greased and looped, it was time to reassemble. There are inner grooves, slots, so that the top can fit into the bottom. But an easy way to know that you're doing it right is that the number guide is at the back of the seat post. I'm just applying some grease to make sure that the threads don't seize up should I need to disassemble again. Back in goes the air cartridge and secure it in place with the fixing bolts at the seat post again. A bit more grease on threads. Screw it all back together and that part's reassembled. Then feed the new cable in through the side slot, then in through the bottom slot. Next, pull the cable slack from the steerer tube end through the housing, making sure that the housing is firmly up underneath the seat post. Then pull the housing from the steerer tube end at the same time as you push the seat post down into the seat tube. Tighten up the pinch bolt that secures the seat post again. Next up, feed the barrel adjustment sleeve onto the cable. and then attach the lever onto the bars. Then feed the cable into the lever. There are a couple of holes that you've got to feed it through, making sure it goes past where the tension tightening bolt is. Ensure that the barrel adjustment sleeve is securely fitted into the lever, then Pull down on the cable, bring it to tension and then tighten up the tension bolt. So I've threaded the cable through, I've tightened it all up and it's now working pretty much perfect like it was brand new. Watch this. So press down the button, push it down, release the button, it stays, press the button again and look what happens. Perfect! Yes! <laughs> nice action. That is a really nice action. Ooh, nice action. 
So all I've got to do now is I'm just going to trim the cable down, put a cable tidy on the end of it, because uh, otherwise this will just be, it just becomes frayed and can hurt your thumb. Sorted. Job complete. So it was relatively simple, straightforward to do. Um, I only, only had a couple of issues while I was doing it, really, and that was um, getting the seat post out in the first place. It sort of seized in a wee bit. But what I did was, after loosening this all off, I just got, I just used this WD-40, which is a specialist for um, metal and things like that. And I just sprayed that down, waited a few minutes, tried it, tried just turning the seat post, didn't quite come loose, sprayed it again, waited a few more minutes, turned the seat post and then it just came out. So it was not too bad after that. Yeah, other than that, pretty straightforward. Give it a shot yourself if you ever need to think that you're needing your seat post serviced. One little tip I would say just to make sure you keep on top of your seat post to make sure it is working smoothly is to regularly clean it um, so I just undo this collar here just slide that up then this is where gunk and dirt gathers and underneath here as well I just use alcohol wipes uh, to get it all clean and then put a bit of lubricant again uh, and also I put a uh, grease on the threads then in back down screw it all up and that just hopefully keeps it free of grit and dirt, dirt although there was quite a lot of grit and dirt got into it even with me doing that so uh, just keep on top of it basically so I hope you might have found this video useful obviously the different types of seat posts and they have their own idiosyncrasies, like pretty much every bike part that you can get. Um, but obviously they, they operate on very similar lines, so there won't be a huge deal of difference in how they work. Um, so if you have an issue, um, I would say just give it a, a try. There are quite a few videos online I've seen of um, different maintenance on seat posts. Uh, there wasn't one specifically on my actual seat post. There is other ones, giant seat posts, but they're just slightly different from mine. So I thought I'd make a video.